So what I was going to do this weekend, we was going to come down here and take the boat and go across the river over to that bank and set up camp. But they're already doing it. So they beat us to it. So focus. Don't focus through the car window. So anyway, so we got people already on the beach. Now I was down here fishing. There was two people right down below me. And then that boat came in. That boat came in. There's two more boats down here somewhere that came in, plus the other guy's boat across the river. So, gotta find a new, where, new place to fish. All right, let's go. All right, so we are now here a WMA that has nobody here. I'm the only vehicle in this parking lot now there's like three lakes four lakes or something but all right let's see what we can do Another baby largemouth. Good. At least they're biting here. Right there's the moss. Right there's the moss. I got you now. I'm starting to think this is going to be impossible. Because I always catch fish. And now I try to video it. And I can't catch fish. So I don't know what's going on. And then my battery camera. Camera and the battery died. And I left the spare battery in the car. Ginger never ends. Never ends. All right, well, I'm gonna give it a couple more shots and then I'm going home. Battery dead. And then this one hits it top water. And it's beautiful. Beautiful. I don't know if it's a rock bass. Bluegill. I don't know. Huh. I'll look it up. All right, guys. So we are back at it today with the Unlucky Ginger Outdoor Adventures Every Fish Challenge. And so today we're learning something new, something that I didn't even know the difference of before this. But today we caught it in the sunfish family. So I'll put this picture here uh, to show you the difference between the warmouth and the rock bass and the bluegills. I mean, they can and the green sunfish, they all look really, really, really similar. But the difference between the warmouth and the rock bass that I can tell, besides the big, more elongated jaw, is you look at the, um, this is their pelvic fins, and this is their anal fins. And the warmouth only has like three main points before it gets fully webbed. And the rock bass has like five 
or something. So that's how you can tell with this war mouth that I caught here. It's a definitely a war mouth. So we are adding the war mouth to our collection of sunfish family. So I still just need the long ear sunfish and the rock bass. All right. Thanks for joining us. Let's see what we can catch next time.